This, of course, Planet Vehicle, we are at FedEx Field for the Main Street in Motion, brought to you by General Motors, the good folks at Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. And now we're over at the Chevrolet tent, and I have with me Gay Kent. Gay is the Executive Director for Vehicle Safety and Crash Worthiness. How are you? Exactly. I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. Now, welcome to the show. And you guys are participating in Main Street in Motion. What is the purpose of, of your demonstrations like the one we have here? And we'll get into this a little later. But okay. Tell us what this is all about. Sure. Well, GM has a vehicle safety strategy, mm -hmm. and it's all about what we call continuous safety, providing protection before, during, and after a crash event. Gotcha. And so we're here to showcase three of our products mm -hmm. to help consumers understand the safety features and the performance that these three vehicles have demonstrated. So, as you said, here we are with the Chevrolet Cruze. Now, when I first walked in, I was a little afraid because I had a, a Cruze Eco uh -huh. as, as my demo car to test drive, and we did a review on that, and it was the same color. And I walked in and I'm like, oh no, that didn't do that. So, uh, let's talk about this car. Let's walk around it because sure. I want people to see that this car has been in a crash, but it was a it was an induced crash, I think. Exactly. This, this vehicle was tested at the GM Milford Proving Grounds at our safety crash lab facility. And what we uh, simulated here was the Insurance Institute of Highway Safety. They run a series of uh, crash evaluations that lead up to their top safety pick score. In this case, it was a 40 mile an hour offset deformable barrier. And this is what the result was. It's, it's almost like if someone was trying to uh, say at, a, at an exit, take a ramp, but they didn't make it and they hit the barrier right there. Yeah, that would be yeah. a, an example, or hitting a hitting a vehicle. Okay, it's from not directly to the side. Yeah. yeah All right. Exactly. So now, you basically is someone in the car when this actually happens? No, but we have uh, crash dummies. Okay. Crash test dummies. Yeah, crash test dummies. Okay, and, and let folks know, because everybody sees the crash test dummies, but I don't think folks really understand the purpose of a crash test dummy, because they also send you vital information on that. Exactly. Yeah, the crash test dummies, and there's actually a family of crash test dummies. We have, for example, a fifth percentile female, uh -huh. uh, the 50th um, percentile hybrid three okay. crash dummy, and also a 95th percentile male dummy. And so it's important because there's instrumentation that's right. collecting data, as you said, and it's giving an indication of injury. Okay. Um, so that's the kind of information that's important when you're developing a vehicle. And when your sights are on uh, top safety pick right. for the IHS or the NHTSA NCAP, uh, injury measurements, intrusion, those are all characteristics that play into that test criteria. And the Cruise got a five-star rating, correct? Exactly. Yeah. In fact, the Cruise got a five-star rating in every market it was tested in. So China, mm -hmm. Australia, wow. Europe, and the United States. Now, I was laughing when you were talking about the test numbers because it seems like you have to simulate different sizes. So you have all these, these different size and supposedly gender uh, crash test values, right? Well, yes, there's, as I said, there's an assortment, and the different test protocols will require certain gotcha. test dummies are used. Right. So kind for of, repeatability, they have very prescriptive requirements. And I was just laughing because I was wondering if their last name was Trumps, you know, from no, the movie. No, we don't name them. <laughs> you we, don't actually, name them. we actually have about 200 crash dummies. How do you know which facility? one to choose if you don't have a name? Well, they have numbers and there's okay. different sizes, and so there you go. we keep track of them. So now let's take continue to walk around. Now here you see where the impact came. Exactly. And this is what they would call a crumple zone, meaning, and, and tell me if, I'm, if, if I did okay. my homework, by this area crumpling in, it absorbs some of the impact and the exactly. energy, and it exactly. keeps it from this area, which is kind of like the roll cage. Right. Area. Actually, we refer to this as the safety cage. The safety cage. And it's uh, quite a science to be able to manage the energy mm -hmm. and as you said you've got crush zones where you're managing the energy energy and diverting the energy and then as you notice for the safety cage mm -hmm. look at the integrity of the structure mm -hmm. after the after this crash right it's it's there's nothing it's not warped or anything it's if it's this still. door was on I could open this door you could I could open wow. this door so here's the here's the, the seat mounted side airbag that you always, you see it on the Moroni sticker when they talk about what's in the car, but now you get a chance to actually see because it comes out to the side here and it protects those those vital organs from a side right. impact. Yeah, we refer to it as the seat side thorax bag. There you go. One thing that I want to point out about the Chevrolet Cruze is that 
It's the only vehicle in its class that has 10 standard airbags. So we have the driver and passenger frontal airbags. Gotcha. We've got knee airbags. Wow. The seat side airbags. So you can get a shot of this. Here's an airbag for your knee. And then as you pointed out, the front and rear seats have the seat side thorax bags. Mm -hmm. And then importantly, mm -hmm. you have the head curtain side airbags that deploy in either a rollover condition or a high severity. And that's on both sides, but since we have exactly. a cutaway here. Exactly. And so you we took this one down so you could see it. Right. So if you're sitting by either passenger seat, even in the rear, you, you got your side thorax exactly. bag. Exactly. Yes. Wow. This is amazing. So why is something like this important for folks to see, especially with what you're doing uh, with the uh, Main Street in Motion? It's really important that customers understand uh, the safety features right. that GM designs and we're focused on the customer, continuous safety, and it's very important from a consumer metric perspective because that's at least an area where customers can make comparison when they're shopping. Right. And so the, the NHTSA NCAP testing, which they changed this year, so the protocol is actually more rigorous, mm -hmm. and also the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety and their top safety pick gives customers a way to be able to make comparisons within a class of vehicles as they're shopping. Right. And I've had a chance to uh, test drive the, the cruise. I had the Eco Cruise. Yes. And it was fun. And, and even this was the automatic that you could shift it, made with the turbo engine. This is a fun car. It is a fun it, car. It was fun until they, it was trashed, but <laughs> <laughs> still. But Gail, thanks a lot. And how many cities are you guys? Because I know the whole Main Street in Motion is 24 cities. Are you doing right. all 24 cities? Well, for the safety displays, we're targeting six okay. of those venues. And which cities are those? Uh, we've got Washington, uh, Minneapolis, Boston. We've got one out west, uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and maybe New York City. Okay. So we'll be at, at some of the cities as part of the uh, Main Street. Uh, USA Main Street in Motion uh, project that you guys are doing here with great. your bonus. Thank you so very much. Thank you. you. You gave a lot of great insight and I think folks will now understand because we, we hear a lot of things and you see them on the screen and the commercials, right. but now we've had a chance, thanks to you, to actually go around and see how these things actually work. Right. Yeah, thank you so very much. You're welcome. All You're right. welcome. So she's keeping us safe. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more. It is Main Street in Motion, GM, of course, Chevrolet, GMC, and Buick. We'll be back with more Planet Vehicle.